guys, we're gonna get started today with our 30 days of mindful movement spring reset. So we're gonna get started with just a nice cleansing breath. So place your hands on your knees. You can sit on your legs like I am, or you can sit in easy pose, whatever feels good for you. And just place your hands down in front of you. Take a deep inhale and exhale. So with each time you inhale, you're gonna take a deep breath and let your body fill up with air, let your belly fill up with air. And on the exhale, you're gonna pull your navel into your spine like this. So it's gonna look like this. So this is gonna really cleanse out your entire system. It's gonna help you de-stress. So we're just gonna start with 10 of those breaths. You ready? All right, let's go. And then relax. So try to make sure you're not tensing your shoulders. You just completely relax. And now we're gonna do 20. So kind of Get focused, but relax at the same time. So you're engaging your core, but your shoulders relax, your face is relaxed. Take a deep inhale, let your belly fill up, and exhale. All right, how did that feel? You should feel maybe a little tingling, pretty good in your body. Um, again, this is really cleansing out. It's called pranayama, and that's just a fancy word for breath work. And moving your breath will help energize you. It can help you de-stress. Um, if you really have a lot on your mind, it can help you with that as well. And our intention for today is, what do you need to let go of? So think of something that you want to let go of, and during this class, it's an opportunity to just release and let it go. Just I always tell my students, just let it melt into your mat. Whatever it is, completely let it go. So we're going to do that one more time. We're going to do 20 breaths, but hey, if 20 breaths is hard for you, you can stick with 10, whatever feels good. Take a deep inhale, and exhale. All right, and now we're good. Now we can get started with our practice. So our practice today is gonna be um, some twists and some hip openers. So we're just gonna start on our bellies. So just go ahead and lie down on your mat. Bring your feet about hip distance apart or to the corners of your mat. Take a deep inhale, bring your hands out in front of you, and exhale. So you're gonna bring your right arm out to the right, and you're gonna turn and you're really gonna just pin your shoulder down to the ground. If this is really hard for you, you can stay like this. You don't have to come all the way onto your arm, but if you can, go ahead and allow your weight to slightly massage your arm down into the ground. This foot can be flat on the ground, knee facing up. And if you're advanced, you can bring the other foot up and just allow that to open your hip at the same time. So now we're twisting the body, we're getting the detox, and we're also getting a nice shoulder opening here. Take a deep inhale, and exhale. Again, deep inhale, and exhale. And just breathe nice and easy. It's okay to move back and forth, have some movement in your practice, and then slowly come out. And all we're gonna do is switch sides, so we're gonna bring the left arm out, and slowly come over. Again, if you can only go here and just put a knee up, that's absolutely fine. And just place your hand out in front of you. You're still going to feel a nice opening. And then from there, you can go a little bit further if you place the foot behind and just allow your body weight to come onto your shoulders. You open your heart towards the ceiling if you can, but even if it's towards the corner of the mat, it's fine as well. And just breathe here. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, relax. Again, deep inhale, and exhale, relax. If your head feels heavy, it's fine to bring your head down and just completely relax, breathing nice and easy. And then slowly come back to center. Now we're gonna do a couple of cobras. Inhale, lift, and exhale, relax down. Inhale. And exhale. Doing the ujjayi breath. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. 
you have a slight restriction in your throat, so you feel like, you know, you're really holding your breath, but you're not. But it sounds a lot like Dark Vader. So inhale and exhale. So just keep that heat in your body. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. And then tuck your toes and press yourself back. Okay, now we're going to release some energy in your toes. You're actually going to come up onto your toes. This can, can be quite painful, so if it becomes too painful, just slowly come out, tap your feet, and then join me again when you're ready. So we're going to sit here for a little while, just releasing that energy. You can hold so much stagnant energy in your toes. And so every now and then, maybe when you're watching TV or um, you're doing your Instagram thing, just come up onto your toes and just release some of the energy. So much, um, so many of us, we're cramming our feet in tight shoes and heels and, and things like that. And our, our toes don't have enough time to breathe. So in yoga is a great time to just spread your toes and just release some of that stress that we put on our toes. So is it hurting yet? All right, go ahead and tap it out. I feel this every time I do it. No matter how many times I do it, it's always intense. So we're going to come back again. Inhale. And exhale. And think about, like, anytime something is really painful during your practice, that's when you want to think about your intention. So think about that thing you want to let go of. See yourself releasing it through your toes as they burn. And just see if you can make yourself smile. Like, you know, if your intention makes you sad, just think about something else. Hold it for a little bit longer. Just continue to breathe. You want to make sure you're not holding your breath. And then slowly release. And then tap your feet out. All right, and now we're going to get started with our practice. Lift your hips up. And just pedal your feet out, bending your right knee and your left, shifting your hips from side to side. And then slowly walk up to the top of your mat for ragdoll. Bring your feet hip distance apart. Grab opposite elbows and just release your head and neck completely. Bend your knees slightly and completely let go. Rocking from side to side. Take a deep inhale. And exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. Adding little small bounces whenever you need to. And then slowly release your arms and come up. One vertebra at a time. Inhale your arms up overhead. Bring your feet together to touch and your hands to heart center. Take another deep inhale. And exhale. Slowly relax your hands down by your side. Inhale your arms up. Exhale forward fold. Inhale lift. Exhale, plant your hands and step back for plank. Hold your plank here for a second. Spread your fingers wide. Make sure the eyes of your elbows are turned forward. Engage your core and round through your shoulders. Hold it there. Shift your weight forward one inch and then slowly back. Again, shift forward one inch and then slowly back. Slowly drop your knees down. Slide through for cobra. And exhale, using your knees, press back up to downward facing dog. So that's the modification. I always like to start my practice with a couple of sun salutations to warm up the body. So we'll just do a couple together. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, press your heels down. Come up high up on your toes and bend your knees. Try to press your heart towards your thighs and really lift through your hips. And then slowly, keeping your hips where they are, slowly just relax your heels down to the floor. Engage your core. Come up high up on your toes, bend your knees, lift your hips towards the sky, keep your hips where they are, and then slowly lower your heels down towards the ground. Then come back high up on your toes, bend your knees, and step or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale with energy all the way up, slight back bend at the top, and exhale, hands to heart center and down by your side. Another sun salutation, A, inhale, arms up, exhale, forward fold, inhale, lengthen halfway, exhale, plant your hands, step or hop back to chaturanga, inhale, upward facing, and exhale, downward facing. Five deep breaths here, inhale, and exhale, 
Really feel your breath cleansing your throat. Inhale and exhale. Come up high up on your toes, bend your knees, step or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, forward fold. This time, bend your knees and come into chair pose. Sink your hips down low, spread your fingers wide. Bring your right knee to your navel and cross it over for eagle legs. You can just leave your toe out or you can tuck it under and then slowly wrap your right arm underneath your left. Engage your core and sink down as low as you can. You might wobble, you might fall, and if you do, come back in. I wobble and fall all the time. See if you can bring your elbows away from your chest. See if you can create some more space. You're gonna feel even more opening in your shoulders. Sink down a little bit more if you can. Now leave your arms where they are and unravel your legs and send that leg back, shaking to warrior three. If you fall out, smile and come on right back. Engage your core, see if you can flex that back foot, and then see if you can lengthen your elbows away from your chest. Breathing nice and deep, slowly bending your front knee and step back as far as you can for crescent. Inhale, lift your arms. Slide back, bend here. And exhale, come back to center, unravel your arms. Let your back heel come down, coming into warrior two. Hold it there. Bend deep into the front knee, but make sure the knee doesn't go out over the toe. If you need to, you can scoot your feet up, scoot your toes up, and just breathe here. Maybe you can go a little bit deeper. Reverse your warrior. Keep breathing deep, ujjayi breath in and out the nose. And then back to warrior two. Straighten the front leg, reach out over the front toe to triangle pose. Gaze up at the top hand. Really shifting your weight into the back hips. You can come onto your fingertips. If you have a block, you can grab a block as well. Or if it's easier for you to place your hands on the shin, that's fine too. And then slowly come back up to warrior two. And then come back up to crescent. So you're in crescent. Now we're gonna do tw crescent twist. So just slowly bring that arm back behind you and face the opposite direction. And gaze at your back hand. Hold it there. Sink a little bit deeper in your hips. Breathing nice and easy. And then come back to crescent. Hands to heart center. Back to warrior two. Hold it here. Straighten the front leg, reach out over the front toe, and then slowly windmill your hands down. And this time you're gonna bring your right hand down, turn your hips, and place this right hand on the outside of your foot. So the back foot, if you need to turn it in at an angle slightly, you can. And if you can only place your hand here, that's fine. But if you can really get it to the opposite side of your foot and twist your body, it's even better. Make sure your core is engaged and you're trying to gaze up at your top hand. Breathe nice and deep. Spread your fingers wide, pressing through the bottom hand. You can also use a block or a book right here under your hand to give you some length. And then slowly bend into your front knee. Come back up to warrior two. We'll mill your hands down into the lunge. Step your left foot back to meet your right and just hold your plank here, engage your core. Feel your strength, slowly lower down, using your knees if you need to. Inhale, upward facing. And exhale, downward facing. Walk your feet out. Shifting your hips from side to side. Come up high up on your tippy toes. Bend your knees, step or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bend your knees and come up into chair. So same thing, opposite side. You wanna sink deep as you can into your chair. Bring your left knee to your navel and cross it over. 
Feel free to stay here or tuck your toes. Bring your left hand underneath your right and slowly sink down, bringing your elbows away from your chest. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Sink a little bit deeper. Breathing deeply, finding a place where you can gaze, allowing your mind to clear, feeling as if you could stay in this pose all day if you needed to. <laughs> Breathe nice and easy. And then leaving your arms where they are, slowly unravel your legs and send it back for warrior three. Bring your elbows away from your chest, flex your back foot, Engage your core to find stability, and if you fall out, come right back. And feel the bottom foot just finding the balance. And then allow yourself to breathe into that space. Bend your knee and reach back as much as you can with that toe step back for crescent. Inhale, lift the arms up. Slight back bend here. Breathing nice and full and deep. And then slowly turn the back heel down. Unravel the arms for warrior two. Again, if your knee is going out over your toe, then scoot your toes up a couple inches and you can create some more room to sink down into your warrior. Gazing over the front middle finger, gaze at the back hand. Sometimes it drops down. Just bring it up into alignment with your shoulder. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, sink deeper. Shoulders away from your ears and reverse your warrior. When you reverse your warrior, make sure you don't place your hand on your knee, either above your knee or below your knee. And a lot of times you might want to come out of that knee, but you really want to sink deeper into it and allow your arm to lengthen up away from your lower knee as you sink your knee lower. Breathing nice and deep. Slowly come back to warrior two. Straighten the front leg. Over the front toe, triangle post. You have an option, you can look down at the bottom hand to the side or up towards your fingers, spreading wide. If you want to wiggle your toes, make sure all the weight is into your foot. Shifting your weight into your back hip as you lengthen through your front. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Again, deep inhale. And exhale. Slowly bend into your front knee. Come back to warrior two. And back to crescent. Turn onto your toe. Inhale the arms up. And now we're going to twist. Bring that arm back behind you and turn. Take a deep inhale. And exhale. See if you can gaze towards your back hand. I know this is an intense twist. But see if you can just breathe through it. Maintaining your focus. If this is easy for you, I challenge you to close your eyes. It really challenges your balance. I can barely close my eyes. <laughs> but try to close your eyes and you'll start to feel every muscle in your body turn on. Just try to keep you balanced and keep you centered. It's amazing how it's just the little things that can distract us or throw us off. Slowly bring your hands back. Crescent. Back heel is down. Warrior two. Straighten the leg, reach out over the front toe, and come down. And this time we're going to do the twisted triangle again. So again, situate your back foot at an angle. Place your left hand on the outside of your right foot and twist. Slowly bring that arm up. Again, if you look down towards your hand, it's nice and easy. You can place a block or a book underneath your hand. And if you want to challenge, you can look out to the side or up at your arm. And make sure the hand is right coming out directly from the shoulder. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Pulling that navel into your spine, pressing that hip back as much as you can. A couple more breaths here. Every time you exhale, pulling the navel in more and more to the spine. Then slowly bend into the front knee. Come back to warrior two. And we'll mill your hands down into the lunge. Step your right foot back to meet your left. Hold plank for a second. Inhale. And exhale, slowly lower down. You can lower down all the way to the ground if you need to. Come into cobra. And then shift your weight 
into downward facing dog. Or you can do your regular vinyasa. Walk your feet out, bending your right knee and your left. Just allowing your body to settle. And come high up on your toes, bend your knees, step or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees, come up into chair pose. And slowly place your hands at heart center and twist to your right. And this time you're trying to get your elbow on outside of your knee and use that leverage to twist your heart until you can get your hands to the center of your heart and slowly gaze up. And if you can get your armpit all the way down to your knee, then you can spread your arms wide and gaze up towards your hand. You also have an option for a bind here. You can reach back. I don't know, some days I can do this and some days I can't, but you can clasp your hands. And this is more advanced. So wherever you feel good, whatever feels good for your body, just breathe into it. And then slowly come out, inhale the arms up, standing all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center and down by your side. Inhale, chair pose, bend your knees, let your fingertips sweep the ground. And that's about how low you should sit. You should at least be sitting that low where your fingertips can hit the ground and you just bring your arms straight up, hands to heart center and twist to your left. Again, using the leverage on your knee to twist your torso and twist your body and then slowly sliding your arm down as low as it can go. Option to spread the arms wide or find a bind. Let's see if I can get this side, I don't know. Here we go. Take a deep inhale wherever you are and exhale, relax. And then slowly unravel, inhale, arms up, standing all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center and down by your side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, bend your knees, step or hop back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Bring your toes together to touch. Bring your right leg high to the sky. Bend the knee, open the hip, look underneath your right armpit. Option to stay here, coming high up on that tippy toe. Bring your knee away from the ground as far as you can. Slowly flip your dog, come into wild thing. Inhale, hips up. And slowly lower those hips down. Bring that leg high to the sky. Shift the weight forward, knee to nose. And extend it back. Right knee, right elbow, shifting forward, and extend it back. Right knee, left elbow, shift forward, and extend it back. This time, come halfway, and then send that leg through for fallen triangle. Open your heart up and gaze up at your top hand. Option to keep your foot here, or you can grab the outside of your foot and let it hover. And then slowly bend your knee and bring that leg back. Knee to nose, step it all the way through. Back knee comes down, inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center and twist. So twisting here, the same thing, really engage your navel and use your arm to twist your body, leaving the hands to heart center, or you can spread the arms wide or find the bind. Then slowly turn back to center, inhale the arms up. Exhale, plant your hands down. Bring your right foot back to meet your left, slowly lower down. Inhale, upward facing or cobra. And then exhale, downward facing. Bring your toes together to touch. This time left leg comes high to the sky. Bend the knee, open the hip. This time look underneath the left armpit. Again, come up high up on the right toe, the knee coming away from the floor as far as you can. Slowly flip your dog, coming into wild thing. Slowly lift your hips and let your arm go back. Let gravity take your arm all the way back. Find your breath. And then slowly lower your hips. Lift the leg high to the sky and then shift your weight forward, knee to nose, round your spine. And exhale back. 
Inhale, left knee, left elbow. And exhale back. This time, cross your body, left knee, right elbow. And send it back. This time, come halfway and send it through for fallen triangle. So she goes straight up from your hip and arm goes up. And also, you're really working your obliques with the side plank. Make sure your fingers are spread wide. And if you want to go for the option, bend your knee, grab the outside of the foot, and hold. If you want to go more advanced, you can even <laughs> let it hover. Whatever feels good. This feels better to me. Eee. It's easier, actually. <laughs> and then slowly release that foot, bend the knee, and send it back up. And step that foot all the way through. Lower the back knee down. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. And twist. Using that elbow to twist from your torso first and then letting that armpit slide down. Hands to heart center and then just gaze up at your ceiling. Option to keep the hands here or spread the arms wide or find the bind. Always just listening to your body, going as far as you feel comfortably in each pose. You never know when your body wants to go more or do less. So always breathe into it. And then slowly turn back to center. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, plant your hands down. And send the left foot back to meet the right. And this time we're going to shift the right knee forward between the hands. And the hips are going to come down for pigeon. If you have a book or a block, if your hips are way off, you can um, place that underneath your hips. Shift from side to sky, side, get nice and comfortable. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, slowly relax down. Place your hands underneath your forehead and just completely relax. Just breathe. Allow your body to let go. If any emotions or thoughts have come up for you, just, just allow them to melt into your mat as you listen to your breath. Relax your shoulders away from the ear. See where you can create more space, maybe rocking from side to side, getting comfortable with the discomfort as you breathe and let go even more. And then slowly coming up, planting your hands down, tucking your back toe under, and shift your hips up. And just feel the difference between each side as you shift your hips from side to side. And then you're gonna bring your left knee up between your hands for pigeon on the opposite side. Again, feel free to shift your weight from side to side here. And if you need to place something underneath your hip, it really helps you relax. And you really wanna relax into this pose. Now, if you are advanced, you know your options. You can Bring your leg all the way up to parallel to add some advancement to your life. <laughs> Wherever you are, inhale, exhale. Again, inhale. And then plant your hands down and exhale, relax. So whatever feels good in your body, just find your place of relaxation. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Shift your hips from side to side and completely let go. And slowly make your way up. And this time, bring your right foot up and around. And we're going to do one of my favorite poses, fire log pose. And we're just going to place the right leg on top of the le left. And see if you can stack your knees on top of your ankles. Take a deep inhale. And you might have a lot of space here. You might have a little space here. But just allow your body to be wherever it's going to be. And just breathe. Take a deep inhale. 
and exhale. Deep inhale and exhale. So on every inhale, you want to actually lengthen. And on the exhale, you want to go a little bit deeper in the pose. So you want to lean forward or shift your hips from side to side or maybe bring your knee over your ankle a little bit more. Inhale, exhale, start to make your way forward. Inhale and exhale. Get nice and comfortable. Feel free to sway from side to side. Just completely let your head and neck go. And breathe nice and deep. See if you can walk your fingertips out a little bit more. And then slowly round up. And we're gonna switch sides. Didn't that feel great? I feel that I always feel that one deep in my hips. So now we're just gonna switch sides. Again, trying to get your ankle over your knee, your knee over your ankle, and then just wherever that is, just breathe. Even if it's way up here, that's fine. Just slowly take your hands and start to press your knee toward your ankle. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Again, feel free to move from side to side. Inhale and exhale. Slowly make your way to the front with your hands. Inhale and then start to melt your heart first and then slowly relax your head wherever you are. Inhale and exhale. Completely relax. Completely let go. And then slowly make your way up, right? And then slowly we're gonna bring our heels to the corner of our mat and then let your feet fall out and slowly come back onto your forearms and then slowly back for Shavasana. Let your hands, palms facing up, just completely relax. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Puff your chest and relax. Squeeze your glutes and relax. Squeeze your thighs and relax. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Flex your wrists and then completely relax. And just breathe. Feel how good it feels to let go. Slowly wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, bring your knees into your chest, and just rock from side to side, rocking on to your right side. Just take your time, take a deep inhale, and exhale. Slowly press yourself up to a seated position. Thank you so much for joining me for spring cleansing. Um, please leave me a comment below. Let me know how you feel. Let me know your favorite part of class, and I'll see you next week.